Margaret Hunter and her defense team said she deserved a break, and prosecutors agreed. So did federal judge Thomas Whalen, who followed the government's recommendation that she do eight months of home confinement and three years probation. But the judge disagreed with the U.S. attorney that the confinement be delayed until next January. He ordered the confinement and probation to begin now. More on that later. We were told again today that the wife of former Congressman Duncan Hunter was just as complicit as the then House representative in using campaign money for the couple's personal use. Everything from expensive vacations and trips to ordinary household expenses. But her level of cooperation was also lauded, including a statement by Whalen that he'd never seen such a degree of cooperation in his 20 years on the bench. However, the toll of disgrace and public humiliation over the last several years was clearly evident when Judge Whalen asked the now 45-year-old Hunter if she wanted to say anything. She sat in her chair for several seconds and walked somewhat haltingly to the podium. Her voice began to crack immediately, and as she cried, she was able to only get out the words, I take responsibility and I am sorry, before sitting back down. Duncan Hunter will do prison time, having previously been sentenced to 11 months. That's been delayed until at least next January because of COVID. Outside of court, the government again took the opportunity to say Margaret Hunter's cooperation helped secure Duncan Hunter's guilty plea and to again call attention to Duncan Hunter's false claims that he was the subject of a witch hunt and prosecuted for political reasons. Today, the rule of law and justice prevailed. Despite attacks by Congressman Hunter on the Department of Justice and this prosecution, today we're all reminded that no one is above the law. You all may remember when Congressman Hunter first responded to these accusations, he blamed his wife and he attacked the Department of Justice. But today, because of the hard work, the years of hard work of the FBI, of agents Fan and McAfee, today you know the truth. Why did the prosecution want Margaret Hunter's home confinement delayed? Because according to Conover, we're all under some sort or measure of home confinement because of COVID. A delay would have been more punitive. Still, the U.S. Attorney's Office says it's satisfied with Judge Whalen's sentencing of Margaret Hunter. Downtown Ed Lenderman, KUSI News.